how we could use multiplication to solve perimeter problems. This question says, find the perimeter of this square. Now we could do 64, add 64, add 64, add 64, or we could use multiplication. Because all the lengths of a square are of equal length, we could do 4 times 64. 4 lots of 64. Let's recap how we'd solve this problem. 64 times by 4. Our first step is to do 4 times 4. Now 4 times 4 is 16, but I can't write 16 in my 1's column. So I'm going to put my 10 underneath my 10's column for later and I'll put my 6 1's in my 1's column. Now my next step is 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24, but I need to remember my plus 1 over here. So I'm going to add that to the 24 to make 25. So the perimeter of the square is 256 centimetres. Let's have a look at another question. Let's find the perimeter of this shape. So we could do 48, add 48, add 48, or we could use multiplication. Because all of the sides are of equal length, we could say 3 times 48, 3 lots of 48. Let's remember how we do this. 48 times by 3. Our first step is to do 3 times 8, that's 24, remembering to put my 2 underneath my 10's column for later, and my 4 1's in my 1's column. 3 times 4 is 12, but I need to remember to add on my 2. 12 add 2 is 14, so my answer is 144. The perimeter of this shape is 144 centimetres. Now see if you can use multiplication to solve the questions 1 to 6. Good luck! Yeah.